State Congress overwhelmingly approved a $16 billion bill to address those problems at overcrowded VA facilities. 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez joins us live at the Bakersfield VA Clinic to explain what this means for veterans here in Kern County. Amanda. If the bill is signed into law, if the bill is signed into law, the VA would be able to hire more doctors and nurses. That means veterans who come to facilities like this one won't be stuck on a long waiting list. Maria Rangel was an army engineer on the front lines in Iraq. Now she faces a different battle here at home, her health care. Rangel has been trying to make an appointment with a doctor at the VA, but hasn't had much luck. I'm under treatment right now for a condition that I have, and I should be seen every three weeks, and I haven't been seen for, I want to say, over, over a month and a half. Like Rangel, veterans across the country have been waiting for appointments. It's very disappointing and hard to actually, you know, be on waiting lists just to be seen. But a bipartisan deal to improve health care for veterans would allow vets to go to private doctors if they're told they have to wait more than 14 days for an appointment. The same goes for veterans who live more than 40 miles from a VA facility. People who live um, Lake Isabel or um, Boron or places way out where there's no VA facilities unless they have to drive 100 or 200 miles, uh, be, being able to have contact with a local doctor is fantastic. The bill also includes money that will be used to hire more staff and lease 27 new clinics across the country. This is a big issue right now and almost everybody in this nation has some connection to a veteran or somebody in the military. So it's close to their heart, so they don't want to see their me their veterans get messed with. It's nice to hear because it feels like there's somebody out there that cares. And after three tours of duty, Rangel is now focused on staying healthy for her family. I have a five-year-old to, to live for, and he needs me healthy, so that's, uh, that's my priority right now, and it will be great if I can see some changes. Of course, this legislation is also a direct response to the VA scandal over delays and accusations about falsified records to cover up the wait times. The Senate is expected to vote on the bill as early as tomorrow. Jackie. All right, Amanda, thanks.